Up next is the longest continuously operating retailer in the game, Jason Beck. Oh, yeah. And as promised, I promised you all a cookie story today, and so I will be delivering that. But I do want to make special note today that this is coming from Weed Week, and I want to encourage everyone to go over to Weed Week to check out this article. It is behind a paywall, and they have a very, very, very secure paywall, so you are going to have to get through that in order to read this. But I do want to encourage everybody to go and check it out over there. Because on the eve of, of 420, Cookie's founder and CEO, Burner, posted a video to his 2 million Instagram followers. Last year, as he publicly fought colon cancer, he revealed that he was also privately fighting for his company. In a quote, when I got sick, I think that a group of predatory investors saw a good opportunity to make a move on me and the leadership over at Cookies. He said from his couch lock network studio, they have attempted to sabotage my name and everything I represent and spent all these years building, he claims. Burner founded Cookies in 2019 with grower Jai, and in the decades since, it's grown to be widely recognized as the world's best-known cannabis brand. It has opened shops in Israel and Thailand, as well as in many states and in Canada. The company's rapid growth owes in part to a strategy of licensing its brand IP to operators rather than owning the licenses themselves. Last year, Burner, uh, born Gilbert Malam, was the first weed executive to appear on the cover of Forbes. Now, in an effort to remove him and his team, Burner says his, uh, his uh, opponents have, in quotes, made extremely false, harmful, damaging claims about me that are completely not true, he says. I'm looking forward to the day in court that we can prove that these claims are false, he said. They're fucking bullshit, he says. Without naming any people or organizations, he describes himself as being squeezed by a, in quotes, loan-to-own model. These guys are trying to put me and my company in the corner and starve us out. Another quote. It's not going to work, Werner said, thinking thinking a uh, thanking investors who are still with him shame on the people that claim their legacy cannabis guys but are for this plant that are that are cooperating with and empowering this group we're ready to fight this shit we're ready to kick ass he says cookies declined to comment further on the story the other parties did not respond for a request to comment and uh Pervase self-dealing in February, Cookies investors BR Co. and Nedco sued Burner as well as several Cookies executives and employees and outside investment vehicles associated with the company. The first amended complaint filed in March in California court alleges breach of fiduciary duty, unjust enrichment, and other claims. Legal research supported by Unicort, the suit alleges that Burner and other defendants leveraged the Cookies brand to engage in pervasive self-dealing without regard to conflicts of interest and strong arm and bullying others into paying them millions of dollars in personal benefits and kickbacks. Their persuasive wrongdoing, it further alleges, has lined their own pockets while causing massive losses to privately held cookies and its shareholders. Third parties, uh, in a quote, that dare to stand up to these demands or refuse to pay defendants given are threatened, including with slanderous blasts on social media and are re refused opportunities to work with cookies, um, often to the cookies detriment, the suit alleges. Together, the plaintiffs say they hold more than 10% of cookies' outstanding shares and the defendants hold a majority of outstanding shares. In one example, the lawsuit alleges Burner accepted more than $1 million in diamond jewelry as a kickback for allowing uh, the giver to do business with cookies, despite the relationship being against cookies' best interest. It further alleges that uh, Burner uses cookies' resources to promote his personal interests outside the company. President and board member Parker Burling says uh, 
Burner and CEO Ian Haberchat improperly used their company name defendant Mesh Ventures to cause cookies to enter into affiliate transactions with Mesh Ventures portfolio companies of their own personal gain. Burling insists that cookies and all licensors use his brother's construction company, C or GCI, even though GCI often costs more more than double so that he can take kickbacks. GCI sued a cookies affiliated company last year, alleging $328,000 in unpaid bills. In a quote, if a licensor refuses to use a GCI, Burling in turn refuses to allow cookies to sign licensing agreements or do business with them. And Burner and Burling sent employees to negotiate with third parties by telling third parties that they needed to pay defendants kickbacks or give them other personal benefits in order to do business with cookies. These tactics were used to steal cannabis strains and other intellectual property from third parties. The plaintiffs claim that they have asked for an independent investigation to determine the extent of the self-dealing and conflicts of interest, but allege the defendants have refused. The BR and NEDCO lawsuit cites another California lawsuit Cookies is facing, this one filed in January for $3.8 million. The plaintiff is a unconnected Florida-based company called Cookies Retail Products, a.k.a. CRP. In December 2021, CRP claims it entered into an exclusive licensing agreement to sell Cookies branded Delta 8 products nationwide. CRP alleges, as summarized in the BR suit, that defendants for CRP to use only suppliers that were affiliates of defendants so that the defendants could take kickbacks from their affiliate suppliers. When CRP pushed back, defendants harassed CRP and threatened to take the license away and then purposely tanked CRP's business, defamed CRP, and stole CRP's trade secrets, they claim. As tensions uh, climbed between CRP and Cookies. CRP suit alleges that one named defendant, its primary contact at Cookies, had the bar codes stripped off of $1 million worth of products upon asking the defendant to fix the issue. The suit alleges the defendant told CRP CEO to eat a bowl of dicks in quotation marks in a group text copying CRP employees. Um, and you can read the CRP complaint legal research supported by Unicorn. And then they have also say, uh, we've got a big fight. It's not certain that Burner was referencing to the BR Nedco lawsuit in his video. He describes himself as facing as facing a loan to own situation in their filing. BR and Nedco say they are equity holders in cookies, not lenders. And however, they do not want him gone. The plaintiff's demands include that Burner, uh, Burling and and another director be removed from the four person board and their and their other demands include an order imposing a constructive trust on all funds or gains that defendants have and or will otherwise unjustly obtain at the expense of cookies and in the video burner said he's not going anywhere and we've got a big fight of a, ahead of us and i'm not scared of it he claims well what do you guys think is this how the cookie crumbles this is Jason Beck reporting for High at Nine News. What do y'all think?